Hey guys, I want to show you a tutorial on how to create the uh, 2 dot 35 to 1 aspect ratio, the anamorphic widescreen, the cinematic look uh, in Sony Vegas. Uh, it's not very hard and I'm doing that without the black bars so uh, a lot of people just put the black bars on top the 1220 by sorry 1920 by 1080 footage which this will actually crop it to the 235 to 1 aspect ratio so what you gotta do is create a new project here and let's go ahead and change the width to 1920 by 817 click OK now let's go ahead and drag your let's go find your footage, your standard footage I want to use this this footage here. This is 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and drag that in there. Okay, and as you can see, it's created the aspect ratio for you, but it's still in the 16:9 format of your video is. So we got to change that. So what you got to do is click on the event pan crop down here on the footage okay now over here to the left where it says width and height you want to change the height to 817 okay then just click over in this area and as you can see it already made it look right the way it's supposed to be stretch it up to the, the size so now down here if you don't like the way it looks the way it's centered you can move it up and down go down here and click on this box down see how it'll move you can move it up just I'm just pushing my arrow key up and down till you get to the the shot you want you have all that room to play with with your 169 footage so I pretty much center it up like that. That looks pretty good to me. And then once you have that, you can save this as a preset down here. Click here. You can call this 1920 by 817 anamorphic. Anamorphic and then you save it okay now it's already in here in your presets now right there okay then when you're done with that just close it out and there you have it now each clip you add each clip you add in you have to do this too okay so let's say we want to drop another one in let's find something else to drop in here Okay, do the same thing. Click on this, come up here, and change it to the anamorphic aspect ratio. Boom, move it around you whatever way you want. I want that a little lower. You can't go too far because that's going out of the actual footage. So we're going to go to it about there. Close it out. There you go. Now, uh, when you go to render this out, Let's go up here and file, render as, and I'm going to use the Sony AVC, which is right there, Sony AVC MP4, and let's go to custom, and you want to keep everything the same, except you want to change to custom frame size and 1920 change this to 1920 by 817 okay and I like to keep my bit rate at about a 10 will work for this usually around 8 let's go to 8 okay and well we definitely don't want half film frame rate we want to go whatever your footage was which mine was 29.97 and 
that's it. ABC, all you can stay the same. It's good. Click OK. And I'm going to save this as whatever. I'm going to leave it as untitled. I don't have a title for this. Save it to my desktop and save. And there she goes. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I'd like you to check out my main channel, which is TK Todd. It's showing on the screen now. Click on that and please subscribe to my tutorial channel and my main channel, which I have some awesome videos on there for you to check out uh, if you haven't already checked it out. And thanks again, man. See ya.